So how is it coming? Where are you at? So he is a terrific mentor, and I think that's the most important part. He demands high quality. I mean, he does drive us to do better science. He wants us to think broadly, think across groups or diseases or typical boundaries that we're normally used to, and really drives that bar up. He is probably the most cited uh, of the University of Alberta uh, professors based on uh, the impact of his work and clinical trials. I was rather more taken with philosophy and politics and some of the courses in the humanities, but I managed to, uh, to sort of scrape through pre-meds and get into medical school. The moment that I started to see patients and actually put the pieces together about the interaction with human beings, I knew that I'd found the right calling, if you will. I came west just about the time that Ralph Klein uh, was elected, and that created some interesting challenges in healthcare. But I was given enormous opportunities here at the University of Alberta, a wonderful place to, uh, to develop my career in, in other directions that I hadn't had the privilege of doing before. One of the early impressions was a sense of almost a frontier spirit, a can-do approach that was uh, culturally very attractive. I was only limited by my own energy and talents and ideas. When I began, uh, the heart attack mortality uh, was 30% in hospital. And I must say I saw a great deal of, uh, of, uh, of dying and, and, uh, and, uh, and illness and suffering. And the transformation to what our recent work has shown of 5% of has been an incredible uh, transformation, very gratifying as a practitioner. But it was because of research. It was because of the willingness to uh, branch out and take risks, to uh, uh, conduct uh, discipline trials, to get people in various hospitals working together around ideas that they believed were uh, a way of moving forward. Specifically, the idea of getting ambulance attendants to give coronary hot busting drugs at the time they pick up the patients has really been a major community service and is one of the reasons that I think we see coronary artery disease having the best outcomes and Alberta of having some of the best outcomes in the world. What I knew was an individual who's an international superstar, obviously publishing and linked to all these major accomplishments. This was clearly the guy who was, had the most knowledge and was, had succeeded at accomplishing those amazing trials that were driving our, our practice change. In some way you are asking where are these numbers coming from? Yeah. He doesn't think like everybody else. He thinks like completely out of the box. It allows you to uh, look at you know, research ideas differently, look at results very differently from what it's laid out on paper, look at a different meaning as to what the results are. If there's a better job that I could have had, I don't know what it is. Quite frankly, I really don't know what it is uh, to be uh, uh, and to be uh, well paid uh, as part of it as a bonus. I mean, you know, we don't do this to earn a lot of money, but it's great that that people reward us in that way. We do it because it is gratifying. Uh, it it allows us uh, a, a career satisfaction and excitement and a sense of making a contribution. And it allows us to fulfill our social contract. I've been a publicly educated guy in, in a publicly healthcare, uh, publicly funded healthcare system in this country. I'm a proud Canadian and I'm uh, very appreciative. And uh, I think part of my social contract is to give back.